Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Kyle, this is Kyle Plays Games, and this is One Hour Flight, a special episode of One Hour Flight, because uh, this is a half hour flight. Uh, so I'm calling it One Hour Flight 20.5. And uh, if you recall from the previous one, flew into Vancouver International Airport, and I did not want to skip out on Seattle. So, going to uh, make a special video, just like I am right now, obviously and uh, fly into Seattle because I did not know if I'm going to make a return to the West Coast to see Seattle and I didn't want to fly over it and just completely ignore it. So that's why we're doing one hour flight, 20.5, 8 a.m. flight, so it's going to be a 4, 4 p.m. flight. We're going to be able to see the sunset um, in the uh, background there for most of this flight. Low altitude airways, so that's why it says 28 minutes. So I know these videos could go a little lengthy and I don't want it to, but to hopefully avoid it, I'm gonna click on the fly button and get this one going. Do have clear skies set up so we do not miss out on any type of scenery. As it loads up, I ask you please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments down below. And if you'd like to watch any of these videos happen live, link is in the description down below for my Twitch channel. And be sure to follow along on Twitch so you do not miss out when I go live. And also, if you'd like to help contribute to the channel in other ways, there are links in the description as well. And if you do contribute to the via li those links. I will in turn add a username to the answer in these videos. X-ray tree two zero ready for IFR departure runway zero eight right. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree two zero altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two wind calm. Ah, that's pretty. Clear that is pretty. Okay, so I'm going to get out of the cockpit here, and we are going to uh, depart from Vancouver and head our way to Seattle. up that speed. We are really gaining the speed there. Alright, lift off. We're at 180. Let's go ahead and take off. And we are wheels up. Literally, wheels up now. Those flaps. Going to one two six decimal one two five Airbus City of Vancouver, two zero. right in the foreground. Departure Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray Tree two zero is passing one thousand six hundred feet, climbing eleven thousand feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray Tree two zero. Departure altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two radar contact. Continue. All right, so that was eleven thousand feet. Let's bring it up to eleven thousand. Can't see. Let autopilot take over. Boy, we are really going sideways. I don't like that. I don't like that. That looks really bad. I'm going to straighten it out. Airbus 320. Goodbye. Vancouver Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray 320 is at 7,000 feet, climbing 11,000 feet. Okay, why do I have to go to the Airbus right here? Why do I have to go west? Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray 320, Vancouver Center Altimeter, 29 or decimal 9 or 2 radar contact. Continue to Yankee Victor Romeo. Seems weird that I have to do this. Like, so it might be you want to go south instead of west here, heading to the sunset. That makes no sense. I just, I, okay, I'm going west, and now I'm going south. The passengers must really love me right now.
Alright, so this must be the long, the, probably the longest waypoint in Airbus this flight. Airbus Dream 20, contact Seattle Center on 125.1. Good day. Going to 125.1 Airbus 320. I don't want to hit over speed, I don't want to hit that. Center, Airbus Alpha oh, Sierra this guy hit by the wind. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 Seattle Center Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 radar contact continue. The Airbus does not like me. contact Vancouver Center on 125 decimal 9 or 5. Good day. Going to 125 decimal 9 or 5 Airbus 320. Vancouver Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 11,000 feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320 Vancouver, center altimeter, 29 or decimal 9 or 2 radar contact, continue. I'm going to try to line up. Let me see if it's VFR map. Let's see if this is how off I am from the uh, path. Not too not too off, not too far off, but I can straighten it out. Let's go ahead and line this, line this aircraft back up with the uh, actual flight plan. As the wind is going inside this to knock me off a bit. Gotta love that. Gotta love it when nature wants to take a different course. Curving right on into our flight plan. Alright, pretty well lined up. I can probably take it from the compass. Be able to tell if I'm uh, correct or not. Alright, so flying into Seattle, half hour flight time. Hopefully, we can be able to land here and, well, be able to make the approach in one time rather than uh, circling around. I hate it when they have to do that. So hopefully, it's. Contact Seattle Center on 125 decimal one. Good day. A one time thing. 125 decimal one Airbus 320. Goodbye. Need a Seattle Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray right. 320 11,000 feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 Seattle Center altimeter 29 or decimal nine or two radar contact continue. All right. So before I get interrupted by air traffic control again, I do want to uh, bring it up that if you are enjoying the uh, flight videos or first time coming to them and you happen to enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe as well. It really helps support the channel out if you subscribe. Uh, if you find yourself coming back on the regular, might as well if you haven't already subscribed or first time and you like it, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Help support the channel. Help it help it grow out. Um, but um, speaking about one hour flight videos. Um, if you have a suggestion of a one hour flight for me to do, feel free to let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try to make those happen as best I can. I am doing like continuous flight plans so if you um, are unfamiliar with the series, let's take a look at all the other videos um, and you'll see that I'm going from one city to another. Um, so if you have a suggestion for a flight plan from a departing city to arrival, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I will try my best to try to make it to that departing city if I'm not already there and try to be able to make that happen as, as uh, best as I can. Um, but you also have to make sure that the flight plan is within that hour time span. I do have a window that I'll be able to do, you know, if it's like 50 minutes or hour 10, like I mean, like I would usually, you know, make an exception for it, you know, like. Obviously, all these airports are not going to be exactly an hour away from each other. Hence the 20.5 on this on this one on the list number because I mean I just didn't want to forget about Seattle and I don't quite know if I'm going to be able to make it back to the West Coast for like a Seattle flight. So this is this in a way sort of knocking it out, you know, sort of sort of like uh, checking it off the list. But if you do um, have a suggestion, and I manage to put it on the channel, I try to do my best I can with putting these uh, putting the suggestions on the channel, um, I will uh, add your username to the end screen of that video um, if I do manage to uh, make a video of your, um, of your requested flight.
you know, I want to give credit where credit's due on the request. Feels like the longest leg possible of the trip. I mean, it's only a half hour flight, so yeah, this probably is like the only uh, last leg. You're basically crossing over from uh, Canada into uh, US. Hopefully customs won't be too uh, picky on me. I was really trying to think of a word there. And the only thing I could think of was like stingent, and I'm sure that was not the word I was trying to think of. That even is a word. Stingy. I was trying to, I wasn't thinking of stingy, but I was on the I was on the tip of my tongue and it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I mean a really hard time balancing out this plane because I'm taking over from the autopilot when it comes to uh, steering. Honestly, we leveled out pretty well. Still kind of angling off to the right a bit. Little occasional corrections. Yeah, this is just a longer part of it. I should have put some clouds in, but oh well. The clouds would have made it seem like I'm traveling a little faster than what I am, I guess, or maybe like showcase, you know, like, oh, hey, we are moving. I guess if you look at the wings, it, you know, you can tell that we're moving. So the ocean is, is vast, and there's no land there. You can't tell if we're moving or if you're just watching a frozen screen, you know? All right, so I have 20 nautical miles left in uh, this leg here, getting to the tail end of it. Obviously, I mean, I, I don't want to keep on adding to it. We're getting to see a few of the other airports or the small little ones that uh, we are avoiding. I mean, if you guys want me to apply to these smaller air airports, I mean, like, I got no problem doing that, you know. Again, that goes into the uh, request area. Try my best to be able to uh, make it happen. Alright, under 10 left. One, two, zero, decimal, one Cessna, two, five, Victor. Goodbye. We gotta be reaching the uh, border of uh, Canada and the US. It's somewhere around here. That's not me. I know that's just, that is not me. Climb and maintain 
Looking pretty good so far. I'm liking how we're staying balanced. Not getting hit too badly with wind. We'll wait until when we have to make a turn. And uh, then we'll see just how bad it is. Yep, here comes that wind. Contact Seattle approach on 120.1. Good day. All right, angle a bit. Should be nearing um, what we should be descending, I think. I mean, consider. I mean, we're close to the airport. At some, well, I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm just uh, thinking a little too far ahead. Perfect line with the flight plan. I love it. to next. Airbus tree, two zero, you are tree seven miles northwest. Descend and maintain six thousand feet, keep speed, not above two one zero. Six thousand? Expect ILS runway one six left approach by a Gryphy transition. Clear to Gryphy. Descend and maintain 6,000 feet, keep speed, not above 210 knots, expect ILS runway 16 left approach via Gryphy transition, cleared to Gryphy Airbus Tree 20. Airbus Tree 20, contact Seattle Center on 128.5. Good day. So it was some hard wind there. Going to 128.5 Airbus Tree 20. Seattle Center Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray Tree 20 is passing 10,900 feet, descending 6,000 feet. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray, 320 Seattle Center Altimeter, 29 or decimal niner, to radar contact, continue to Gryphy. Airbus 320 contact, Seattle, approach on 125 decimal niner. Good day. 125 decimal niner Airbus 320. Goodbye. Seattle Approach Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray Tree 20 is at 10,200 feet, descending 6,000 feet. Yep, wind's hitting me now. Alpha Sierra X-Ray Tree 20 Seattle. Gotta love that. Gotta love it. Decimal Niner. Two radar contact. Continue to Gryphy. close to 10 nautical miles and getting hit by another burst of wind. All right, we're under 10 here. So looks like the airport is going to be south of us, so probably after we pass this waypoint, we're going to have to veer right. We just get hit and it knocks us off course a bit. Just love it. You know, gotta make it hard. Gotta make it difficult. 
I know it's a simulator, so it depicts what, what happens in real life, but geez, a lot of turbulence. Cross on this waypoint here momentarily. Really got knocked over there. Really got knocked over. I did not plan that. Descend and maintain 4,000 feet Airbus 320. Nope, that was not what I wanted. I didn't want that. Really make it difficult for me today. Drop it down to four thousand feet. There's another giant wind gust for me. Just to make sure I'm paying attention. Having a really hard time leveling out. Really hard time. Hey, there's the city of Seattle there. Just to our right, above the right wing. Oh, but I do see the airport. I do see the, the uh... Do you see where we need to land at? Gotta level this thing out. This thing is just getting a skewed. Airbus 3, 2 zero descent and maintain 3,200 feet. Descend and maintain 3,200 feet Airbus 320. Okay, 3,200. Let's do it quick. Oh, man. Oh, man. This, this is not like me. This is not like me at all. Decimal Niner, Fife Airbus 320. Seattle Tower, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray, 32010 miles, north inbound ILS runway 16 left approach. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320, Seattle Tower. Altimeter 2 Niner, Decimal Niner 2, Do, uh, cleared ILS approach? runway okay. 16 left approach. Cleared ILS runway 16 left approach, Airbus 320.
Oh, come on, level out, level out, Clear to land level out. One six left Airbus, tree two zero. Level out, come on, oh, don't, don't go askew on me, don't go askew for me. I'm trying to drop the altitude down. Well, why is it not taking it? Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Nothing responded. Nothing! Well, I landed on the wrong... I landed on the wrong, uh... Oh my gosh, can you just... Can you just slow down? Can you just slow down, please? No, I'm trying to settle the aircraft down. How bad is this to even stop? Come on, slow it down, slow it down. Every time, every time, I cannot control it at the end. I cannot Airbus control it at the end. Please acknowledge. And now you want me to acknowledge? Why? Why? One two one decimal seven Airbus three two zero. Goodbye. Okay, ground services, clearance, taxi to the gate. Seattle ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray, tree two zero taxi to the gate. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray, tree two zero taxi to gate Bravo 248 using taxiway Papa, cross runway tree, full right Papa Bravo. Taxiing to gate Bravo 248 via taxiway Papa cross runway tree for right Papa Bravo Airbus 320. I have no idea where you want me to go, and I cannot control this damn thing. Why is it? Why is this? Slow down. Oh my gosh, slow down. Why on earth are you speeding? Okay, stop, stop, stop. I have no idea what you want me to do here. Taxi to gate B, 420 via taxiway P. I don't, okay, I, I, I'm gonna find where this thing is at. This is the worst part about playing Flight Simulator, finding your taxi.
There was like no guidance whatsoever uh, where I'm supposed to taxi to. Yeah, it's not giving me anything here. I'm gonna keep that up there. I don't even know where this thing is at. This is a large airport. Gate B248, taxiway P. I don't know where taxiway P is even located at. Did I drive too far? Did I, did I drive this thing too far out? Cannot, I, I don't get why I can't control this thing. Is this at? There's no way that I'm supposed to park over here. No way. The airport is on the other side. I am going to cross this thing again, and I'm going to park it. I already know I'm on the runway. I already know I am. Welcome to one hour flight where you, if you land just a little bit off, this thing does not want to give you any direction whatsoever. Plus, I can't even control the rudder half the time. No idea where they want me to park at. No idea. They're supposed to park behind me. I don't know. But you know what? We're going to pull over. So that's N. Is it all the way over here? This game really knows how to mess with you, I swear. Oh, wait, I said, wait, was I supposed to go to B? B, oh, come on. This is probably way over here, wasn't it?
We're not gonna do a runaway plane. We're not gonna do a runaway plane here. I think I saw it. I think I saw it. What was it? B248. I know you're probably thinking right now, just set the airplane off. I'm committed. I am committed right now. Oh, now we're in A. Now we're in A. Where in the hell? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just going to shut this thing off. I'm going to set down these aircraft systems. Hit the parking brake. Sorry, guys. I can't do a complete flight because this thing, this is, it's not giving me any guidance. So I'm done. I'm done. Okay, that's going to be it for it. One hour flight is done over with. It's stuck. Uh, come on, can we get something loading up here? Is this thing stuck again? Yes, it is. That is awesome. All right, so that was one hour flight. I'm just going to let it be here. It's going to eventually try to load something here. Uh, but uh, that was one hour flight or one hour flight and a half. Um, but then again, I have just reached out all, all the whole thing of one hour flight when it comes to um, the time I spent uh, on the... Um, there it is. There it is. Finally. Oh boy. Uh, that was, that was a rough one at the very end there. Uh, but managed to land it, but, uh, crossed over from one uh, runway to the other because I don't know why I just cannot land an aircraft smoothly. I don't get what is going on, why it's, it's not landing how I want to. I mean, like I just, I just cannot Fight that wind, I get knocked off every single time I go to skew, and I don't get what I'm get, what I'm doing wrong. I really don't understand it. I probably would never will. It's probably going to be a continuous thing as it, as it has been going on ever since. All right, so rant over. That was one hour flight number twenty point five from Vancouver to Seattle, and I'll take flight from Seattle to somewhere else and do a full one hour uh, flight somewhere. Uh, who knows where that's going to be try to go down the west coast but i don't quite know how that's going to work out so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video hope you had a good laugh at the very end there and then you start yelling at me just to park the park the uh plane and be done and over with and end the madness but i finally did be sure to leave a like on the video if you like the video and also subscribe to help support the channel out if you enjoyed the video that much say you just want to see more of this stuff hit that subscribe button help support this channel out leave a comment Please be kind <laughs> in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to watch any of these videos happen live, link is in the description down below for my Twitch channel. Okay, you guys know the rest. And I will, I will uh, have you get going. And I will see you in the next video.